Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an exciting video and I have been waiting for like a month to do this because me and Paula, I'm doing this pellet bingo with Paula by the way, <laughs> we have thought about doing a pellet bingo on the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics for quite a while and then we both draw it in a shop my stash that we also do together as a collab and we both said that we wanted to do a pellet bingo on this guy so we did. We pulled ourselves together and did a palette bingo and as a club. I'm really excited and I look forward to see her look. I have not seen it yet. She has already filmed it when I'm filming this so I'm really really excited about it. And if you don't know this palette, it is based on zodiac signs and it has this round theme going on with a highlighter in the middle. This inner rim here is mattes and then the outer rim is shimmers and yeah. It's a very neutral but colorful palette and I was kind of scared but really excited at the same time to be using this palette in the bingo. It has some different shades that I don't think will would match that well together but I got some shades that were hard and I didn't think would go together but it came out quite on white. Alright, so let me know what you think of my look. Um, so yeah. If you haven't already, check out Paula, she will be linked down below as always. And let's just begin with this palette bingo. And if I haven't said it already, I don't think I have. I am going to choose five shadows or shades from this palette. And we are including the highlighter. And Paula made this picture of how we're going to do the numbering of the palette. So I will insert it on the screen while I pick my shades. So let's hop into the rest of the video and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye! Very excited because I am a part of the cool kids now. I had I found the pretty random app on uh, my phone. Yeah I didn't think Android could get that and I'm pretty excited about it. So as I said in the intro I'm going to do a palette bingo on the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics with Paula and I'm pretty excited about it because we have been planning this collab for quite a while now and I used my palette for the first time yesterday at my brother's uh, confirmation thingy thingy and I loved the look. I used mainly the purple shades but today we're going to pick out random five shades to put on our eyes and Paula and I have done a kind of collage where you can see how we are going to count this bad boy because it has a lot of shades. 25 to be exact and we are going to count the highlighter into the 25 shadows, shades, whatever. Okay, I'm a little nervous, but yeah, I, I believe uh, Paula is doing five shades. I actually can't remember, remember if we talked about that, but let me try to pick out five shades and if it is mostly dark shades, I might just go with four. I don't know yet, but yeah. So the first shade is number eight. And that is a purple shade, which is this shade right here. It is the matte shade from Gemini. So it's a kind of lavender shade, actually. That is the shade. These shadows are so pigmented and really, really creamy, so that's really exciting. Number 20, and that is, oh, that is the shimmer shade for the Gemini, which is, it's a silver, I think, yeah, silver, that one. So I guess it's going to be a cool toned look, which I really don't mind. Let us pick one more. Two. I think that is a brown shade. Yeah. And that's not cool tone. That is a warm brown. It is that shade right there. It is the matte shade for Sagittarius. I believe that is my star uh, uh, not star sign, zodiac sign. Uh, in Danish we we say star sign as the you know the, the the right translation. I don't think these are going to match that well together. Yeah, let's just try. 
So, so far no really dark shades, which I'm okay with. <laughs> 18, which is pink, which is the shimmer shade for Leo. That one right there. I used that yesterday and it was beautiful. So it is that one right there. Okay, so because my shades are kind of light, I think I'm going to aim for another shade. I don't know if it's the right thing to do or not, but I think we can do it. 22, which is a blue, blue shade. <laughs> it's a shimmery blue shade and that is for Aries. That one right there. I think it goes well with the purple. Um, and I guess I can pair it with the brown and the silver, it's okay with as well. So I think it's okay. Um, I don't think I would have paired it with this combo. Okay, that is so much darker than I thought it would be. But look at them. They are so beautiful. I'm really excited about it. So let me think about what I want to do. And then I will be right back. And I think I'm going to... Uh, prime my eyes before yeah I have no idea what I'm going to do okay I think I'm going to allow myself to reach for all the colors but I really want to only use these um, so I think I think the silver is going to go in my inner corner and then this on the inner part of my lid and then maybe this on my outer part and then I need to decide if this is going in my crease or the brown and then the remaining shade is going on my lower lash line. I think that is what I'm going to do. If I remove the brown, I think it's going to look okay but if I remove the purple it's going to look good as well. Okay, I don't know if this is cheating, but I'm going to go in with the lighter brown in the palette, just a little bit, and that is this shade right there. It is the matte for Aquarius, so just a tiny bit, because the Sagittarius shade, the brown that I chose, oh god, uh, are really, is really, really brown. So even this is going to look dark. Wow. What is this hand doing? I don't know. So I'm going to take... Should we try some of the new brushes? Maybe. Yeah, let's try this one. It is the number 10. And I'm going in with the brown shade. And then I think it would look nice with the really pop of purple on the lower lash line. So I'm going to take the brown. I don't think I will pack it on. Maybe just blend it out or something. Haven't really decided yet. Just a little bit. So let me know down in the comments if you would have put the lavender in the crease when you see the end. Because we don't think the same when we see colors and eye looks. So let me know what you would have done. This is turning a little bit more orange. So I think it's going to be fine. I really like this shade and I think the combination with this orangey brown warm color and the green is so my sign so I'm really excited about that for this zodiac sign theme because I really love an orange and a green together I think I'm going in with should I do a base or something I'm going in with a finger and the blue shade for areas in my outer corner. You can see which finger I took last time, this one. But I really like to use my long finger. Then I'm going to pat it into the outer corner. And then try to blend the remaining shadow in the middle. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at it. When I'm filming this, this is Mother's Day, so my mom is coming 
for dinner. Dinner, and we are going to do a, some small, small, small barbecue. And I'm really excited about it because I love a barbecue. So we got some nice beef meat, I think. That is marinated, and we're going to put it on the grill. And we have some um, sausage, sausages. Can't say that word. And we're going to grill. It's going to be so nice. So if you're a mom, happy Mother's Day. And if you're not, happy Mother's Day to your followers or whatever. Or doggy mom or cat mom. Happy Mother's Day. I'm neither, so. <laughs> I'm just a something, a daughter. A sister. Okay, so for my inner part here on my eyelid, I think I'm going in with the pink, which is the Leo shade. This one right here in the corner. I'm so obsessed with these colors. These are so beautiful. So this is the second layer. Look at that. Oh my god, that is everything. I love this so far. So I'm really excited about it. Um, So... By this step, I usually do the rest of my face, so I think I will do that and then I will come back and do the rest of the eyes that will be the inner corner and lower lash line and stuff like that. But I will give you a close-up before I go and then uh, yeah, you will see the finished look. my base as you could see I applied the purple shadow underneath my eyes and then blended a little bit of the brown into my crease brows lips whatever I had to do this is a, a minimal base because I really didn't feel like wearing foundation but when I look in the viewfinder I actually don't look that bad <laughs> it actually looks like I have foundation on and yeah that's a motivation just to use up my foundations and not wear them because I actually think this looks pretty good considering that my breakouts are really huge in my forehead or on my forehead. This is the finished look. Let me zoom you guys in. Then you can see all my breakouts. But, so this is the final look. I really really like this combo. I would never have paired the purple and the green together if it wasn't for this palette bingo, so I'm really glad I did. I really, really like it. Something different, but not totally out of my comfort zone. And yeah, I really like it. Let me know if you like this combo and what you would have done different. And then the lip combo I have on is the eBay lip liner that I am panning in my panning games. And then the W7 Lip Tripper Holographic Lip Gloss that I have in my roulette pan to use 20 times. Not going that well, but I'm using it today. 
so that is everything for this video i hope you guys enjoyed please check out paula if you haven't already she is amazing and she has become a very close friend of mine we chat a lot and i really really enjoy it because she's amazing and so so kind so yeah if you like my videos you would definitely like her she upload a little bit more than me i'm trying to keep the five at five days a week schedule because i really like to upload and i have so many ideas and videos that i want to make so i really hope you guys like my more frequent frequent upload and yeah you will definitely love paula if you aren't following her and i don't know what you're doing if you're not so so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already i would love for you to be a part of my family here on youtube and i'm still blown away about the 1k thing it, it's amazing i i don't know i'm just grateful so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next one please take care